Hey, this is Mr. Peterson. This is a screencast on how you're going to do a karyotype digitally. So head to the home page, boom, then off to the transmitting information page. And at the top of the page, you're going to see a bunch of resources that say karyotypes or chromosomes. Open up that first one, click on that, and then click on it. Now this is what opens up in preview. This is the software you're going to use. So this is a disorganized mess of chromosomes. Now what a karyotype is, is you're going to take that disorganized mess of chromosomes and you're going to turn it in, into something ordered. So here are the 46 chromosomes of a fictitious person named Jill Miller. She's the mom in this story. And so you're going to try to take chromosomes in that mess and put them into some kind of order. So you'll see that there's Andy and Chris and Emily down here. Each of those is a different person in the story. You're going to read about them. So here's Andy's karyotype, which means the organized mess of chromosomes. But you'll notice that not all the chromosomes are in pairs. So what you're going to need to do is find Andy's chromosomes. So these are the ones that you're going to put into the karyotype. And that's kind of what this uh, screencast, this short little how-to is about. So put these things side by side. So Andy's, Andy's the dad in the story. And what you're going to use is the marquee tool to get the little marching ants around there, a little command C action. So copy and then click on his carry tap and now you're going to paste it in there. Now you're looking, you're looking, you're looking, you're looking for it too. You're looking for the matching chromosome. So what's the criteria? What criteria are you going to use to pair these chromosomes up? Is that, is that where that one goes, or does it go over here? And so instead of copy, or instead of cutting, like Control X, uh, I used Command C, that way I can keep track of the ones that I've done. So I, I think that's the one that matches there. So I'm gonna drag this frame. I'm gonna adjust it a little bit, because that was kind of sloppy. It was kind of not quite tight enough. So I can get it a little closer, I'll squeeze it in there a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna go Command C, click on the, the carry type, and again, do the same kind of thing, looking for pairs of chromosomes until I finally find the one that matches. And you're going to do that until you have a completed set of chromosomes like uh, Jill's here, just like that. Boom. 